Good morning, cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of a late start today, but the doggos are on point. Um, for this episode, we have... I think it's just the tea festival that we'll be doing. And it'll be our first time actually participating in the tea festival with uh, Five Star Tea. And I guess I should also note that this will also be the last days of spring. We're not going to get the first day of summer into this episode just yet. That'll be next episode. But yeah, for the last days of spring uh, in this episode. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all that's going on. So we can't be replanting any of these turnips or these potatoes because they wouldn't be done before the end of the season. And also these turnips, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to turn all of these turnips into seeds in order for our seed crop. But uh, yeah, uh, also obviously asparagus we can't, we can't uh, uh, be replanting because that takes even longer. Also I did a little bit of testing and there does actually seem to be a pretty good chance that our cucumbers and our strawberries will reach five stars by the end of the season with the last harvest, actually. And I believe the cucumbers will be harvesting tomorrow and the strawberries either on the 30th or the 31st. And like I said, there's a very good chance that they will be five stars based on my testing. So here's hoping. Uh, and that that actually like I said that was quite a bit because I think those strawberries that we planted we planted them at like one and a half to two stars which is just ridiculous that they would uh, that they would get up to five stars in a single season um, but you know that's the power of higher quality fertilizer on regrowable crops for me he thinks so known on the cheese for a whole Honestly, we just, we really need to figure out what he likes. Because him, him and Amir are the ones that will cause us to fail. Cause us to fail this whole thing where we try and become a pillar of the community by the end of the year. Hey, yeah. Um, Amir, there's not really much we can do about it but keep giving him milk. I mean, unless we want to cheese it, of course. Well, not really cheese it, but look up his favorite dish. Which, actually, I already know what Amir's favorite dish is. As for Raul, I actually don't know what his favorite dish is. But, anyway. Let's, uh... Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper. Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh my, is this for me? I'm so happy, thank god. And that, I think I know what that is on the right. Omelette rice. Well, we haven't given this to anybody yet, have we? So we'll go ahead and get some of this. Thank you, I'll teach you the recipe as well. We'll have some ourselves. Mmm, delicious. And we'll go ahead and hand those out, um, probably at the tea festival, to be honest, um, because... Go! Well, that's... Thursday is when the tea festival is, and that's when Lloyd is getting back from his business trip. Very important international businessman on an international business trip. Anyway, so... And, of course, everyone will be gathered around, so that we might as well do it then. I don't know if we'll be able to harvest some more spring tea leaves before the end of spring. I think there should be one more harvest, but just in case there isn't, I want to save those two because I want to have some five-star uh, tea tree seeds. And, you know, just in case, and maybe... We can work on installing some tea trees in the basement. 
once I feel that we have enough wheat. All right, so potatoes are done. And once again, obviously if we couldn't replant the other potatoes, we can't replant these. And we should also probably uh, be turning a few of these into seeds. I'll have to check how many spring seeds of the turnips and the potatoes and whatnot we have. And as for the cucumbers, as predicted, five stars. Well, five star for that, and then two and a half star for these. Unfortunately, we've got a little bit of an inventory issue thing going on with our storage, so... Um, th did that rock just disappear? What is going on with this stuff? Just having all sorts of stuff disappear. I cut it out of the last episode because I wasn't sure like, if I was, what was going on with it, but there was a honeycomb that just disappeared. It just wasn't there. Just, I, I walked towards it, it just phased out of existence. Oops. <sighs> okay, there. My goodness. Excuse me, I'm trying to bell everyone, because that's how you get them to love you, right? You, you ring their bell. So if there's a bell associated with someone that you want to like you, well then you just, you just ring that bell. Like if there's, say, an icon, on an area related to that person, and that icon is a bell, well then you would click on that bell, and that would cause the person to like you. How to make friends and influence people. Use a bell. Uh, we did not bring anything for Amiko. Well, okay. Uh, we do need to grab something for Amiko, just because... It's either- I say it's either gonna be Raul or Amir that causes us to lose on the whole pillar of the community thing, but honestly, Amiko, that's a big one. That is a big one, because... You know, just because of the difficulties in befriending her and the fact that there's so little that she actually really likes. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh my, is this for me? I'm so happy, thank you. Welcome to Zappa Cafe. We'll have an apple pie, and I want to get one for Raul too, because I think he likes apple pie, but I'm not sure. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna test that and see, and if he does, I'm gonna come back here and buy a whole bunch. Okay, apparently, uh, Raul does not like it. I'm sorry, Raul. Oh, that's right, he doesn't like pie, does he? Every time we try to give him pie, he, he rejects it. Ah, dang it. Well, we'll, fig we'll figure out something to give him at some point, I am sure. Thank you. This is nice. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh, for me? Thank you. That's right, we don't want to be giving them to Ivan or to Daisy. I like these, thanks. Love them. Thank you. Oh, thoughtful. Oh, Omnit Raif! Thank you very much, Ray. It's my favorite. So yes, as you might have guessed from the... from the Dirk's Arrogance random event, Angelo's favorite thing is, in fact, Omelette Rice. Hey there, working hard, Ray? For me? Hey, thanks! So we can give him a little bit more, and maybe if it shows up at the cafe again, we can we can uh, get some more of it there. Today's the tea party! Did you bring some tea? Yes. Great! Let's get started! Thanks for coming! Joan has organized this wonderful tea time with tea and snacks for us! Actually, I just made the snacks. Ray is the one who provided the tea. Enjoy, everyone. Very delicious, if I do say so myself. Thank you so much for your help today, Ray. Yeah, please take this. Let's do this again next year. I believe a party cake is what you get uh, for both uh, four and a half star as well as five star, so 
Oh, how nice. Thank you, Ray. Ah. Uh, party of uh, one full party cake. Go. Thanks for today, Ray. <laughs> That's so good. That was a ton of fun. Thanks. Thank you for today, Ray. Thank you for today, Ray. <laughs> the food was really good today. Nothing about the tea, huh? Thank you for today. That was pretty good. Thanks, Ray. It seems like everyone had fun. That was wonderful, Ray. That was lovely. <laughs> Thanks for today, Ray. Don't forget to thank Joan. That was delicious. Ahaha, <laughs> nice one! That was delicious. Thank you, Ree. Wow, everything was great. Oh, you were really something today. Thanks for today. I'm so full. <gasps> this was a great day, Ray. Alright, time to check the strawberries. Yes, five stars. Unbelievable. And again, this is just, this is the power of high quality fertilizer on non-regrowables. Or not non-regrowables, on regrowables. Is that the fertilizer we've been using is like six to eight times as effective as just regular half-star fertilizer. And, well, that's what it does. And yes, we did in fact get an extra harvest of spring tea leaves, so that's nice. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, tomorrow we'll be work on that. Eh, it's not important. Anyway, um, let's see, what's next on the agenda? I guess what's next on the agenda is that we gotta water the basement crops, that's right. Cannot forget about that. And, uh, I think I miscalculated with the cauliflower. I think we're gonna wanna grow at least a little bit more, which... I mean, that means we're gonna be growing a lot more. We're gonna be spending a lot more time with this, with these fall crops than I had intended before. But it should be fine. We should be able to get to spring, get back to spring crops in the basement with plenty of time to spare. Hey there, working hard, Ray? Working hard trying to figure out something you'd like. For me. He thinks that isn't a bronze coin. I mean, I guess we've gotten the first magic water, so I guess we could just be like, oh yeah, okay, we can do the bronze coins for a wool until until he's at max friendship. I just I find I wanted to get the the magic water, and we finally got it. So I suppose. Plus, it's only one play per uh per week, so. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper. Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh my, this is for me. I'm so happy. Thank you. I mean, bronze coins are worth, I think, like, 240 each, but... And even the copper to make them is not that expensive. It's just... You know, I want to be playing the Super Lucky Lotto as much as I can to get all that... All that magic water and whatnot, but that's fine. Mmm. Sad songs they say Sad songs they say So much <gasps> Gold! Again! Oh my, how many? That's, that's crazy Has it been four in a row or four in five? I can't remember Um, but that's another emerald bracelet so, uh, let's go ahead and get started on that, even though it won't be done by this next bazaar. I- I- I'm... 
Oh my goodness. And after so long of just like, of so much dry, so many dry spells with gold. Honestly, I think we actually, oh, that's right. We can't fit anymore. Um, we'll pull out the bronze coins if we have space in our inventory. Okay, well then. Hmm. 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 Okay. So we'll pull out the bronze coins, and that's probably not going to be enough, is it? It's going to be like, oh no, you gotta, you gotta ditch more. That's fine. We can, we can ditch these. We've got plenty of two and a half star branches. Um, that's nutty. Okay. Uh, goodness. Another green bracelet. Um, so like I was saying, it's probably best if we use the one and a half star emerald. Because if Lloyd ever does sell gold, then we're going to want the higher quality gold with the higher quality emerald. So, yeah. Anyway. Ah, oh, gosh. That's nutty. That's honestly pretty nutty. Not going to lie. I don't know if it's going to reach the full four hours. Another- What?! actually hacking this is like this is the 30th gold find of the, or the 31st i don't i don't know okay okay so for those watching after the fact on the main channel um will is here and in case you don't know will, will is in the stream right now because i stream the recordings of these episodes and uh, in case you don't know, uh, he's he's my good luck charm. Anytime he shows up, we have good luck, and so uh, I'm just I'm saying that's why double gold find in not just a single episode but a single night. That is so nutty. Hey, hey, hey! Well, who needs Lloyd to sell gold, right? When when you you're playing on the luckiest file, well, um, that's gonna be it for every for this episode. I'm really afraid that we're gonna get to the point where uh, Hansel's gonna pass out, so I gotta end this quickly. Uh, but tomorrow we'll be start next episode. We'll be starting on summer. But for now, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.